Hi, and welcome to the first episode of the Rural Juror Brewery Tour. My name's Jay. I'm Seth. And today we're going to be drinking a Cowbell Pomegranate Honeysuckle Beer. Uh, Cowbell is located in Blythe. in Blythe, Ontario. It's a beautiful property, and if you're ever in the area, you definitely need to check it out because the place is gorgeous, the menu is fantastic, and the beer is pretty good too. They also happen to have a beer named after my family, but that's a whole nother story. Maybe we'll do that one next. Nice humble brag. All right, so the pomegranate honeysuckle is a fruit sour, and, and Cowbell doesn't typically re release many fruit sours, but it's got a nice red color to it. Lots of head on it. Thank you, Jason. You got it, sir. We'll What's the name time. of the show again? The Rural Juror Brewery Tour. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if you can say it like that at the end. Okay, cheers. Distant cheers. Yes, indeed, COVID. Yes, COVID. Ooh, sour scent. That's tart. It's kind of like Tahiti Treat if they never added any of the sugar to it. So yeah. it's like Tahiti treat for diabetic kids. There's a lot of floral, but there isn't a lot of fruit flavor. There isn't yeah. any raspberry. There isn't a whole lot of fruit that hits you when you drink it. And it's not super sour, I don't find. So. No, and it's really bubbly. Yeah. Like yeah. Really carbonated. It's just a very refreshing beer, but there's... I don't know if I would say that there's... I don't need to have a whole lot of this, but it's interesting. Well, there's all these sours out there that are super sweet and... And sometimes they get salty and sometimes they get kind of limey. And, and I don't get a lot of fruit at all. Like the red color makes me think I should be tasting like raspberry or something, but maybe I just don't know what a pomegranate tastes like. A uh, pomegranate tastes like a whole lot of work to get into it. So <laughs> my wife buys them. <laughs> you know, I, you can buy the seeds only, right? You don't have to what? just, like you don't have to buy the whole fruit. You can just buy the seeds. They come in a little plastic container. It's all COVID safe. Oh my God, I'm telling my wife. Yeah. Okay. Because she makes a mess whenever she does it. She just, she opens whenever it. she, and she and just, oh, opens it. And then it's, <laughs> and there's just red stuff all over the whole counter. It's disgusting. But they do taste nice in, in salads. So, does this taste like a pomegranate tea? Yeah, but it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It's sort of like saying, hey, that's a really good grape. Oh, it's very juicy, but it doesn't really have a, you, if you took the flavor of a grape and added it somewhere else, of a fresh grape, you couldn't say, yeah, that's a grape. It just tastes like water. Okay. So this just tastes like... And, and when they got the seeds in it, you gotta go... Like that? That's watermelon. But that's also grapes that have seeds. They have seedless grapes and they have grapes with seeds. You you shop at the wrong grocery store, buddy. Or you're buying the ones on sale. I like how no. you assume I shop. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, buy the good grapes, you cheap bastard. And, you know... and it's anyway, not unfair. This... Yeah, it tastes fine. Yeah. So this one's 4% alcohol, so this is probably the kind of beer you'd want to have on a hot, sunny day. Um, not want to get loaded, but a, a late afternoon beer and when you just need to get away. When I just need to get away. When you're having one of those days, it just comes up roses for you. Today's a good day. Today's a good day. Because I'm drinking beer. For Seth. And Jay. Indeed. Distant cheers. Drink. There we go. Okay. So for our next beer, we're going to be doing one from Leftfield Brewery in Toronto. Uh, Leftfield Brewery, it's just like off this little side street. You, you wouldn't be able to find it without GPS. Thank God for GPS. It's right by my friends Chris and Richard's house. Yeah, that, that's going to help out everybody out there. So What, they don't know? Really? Come on. Um, Leftfield Brewing makes one of the best IPAs I've ever had. Their Greenwood IPA is yeah. absolutely amazing. Um, and the other day, a buddy and I were like, I miss left field brewing, so we're going to get uh, a few beers. And so one of the ones we picked up is the Low Vista Mojito Sour. It's a 4.2% alcohol, um, and yeah. apparently it goes really well with Mojo Pork Borsitas, which I was planning on having for dinner tonight. I was just planning on pronouncing it properly, but you know, you can eat it. And you probably did be would do better than I just did. Oh no, that was great. That's a nice color. It's beer. What color do you expect it to be? 
red like the last one. So it's green, it's mojito. Indeed. Haha. You know, years and years ago, um, I had mojitos and we had to change the name of them to Nojitos. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> that did not go well at all. <sighs> but, <laughs> COVID this cheers. COVID cheers. Ooh, smell that. Oh. oh, lots of lime off the nose. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, that's that's got a creaminess to it, but not really. Like it hits the back of the tongue and just kind of silky. Oh. That is nice. There's lots of mint. There's good lime in there. Lots of salt. Lots of salt for sure. I'm getting a ton of salt. <laughs> and there's some salt. Did I mention <laughs> the salt? Uh, <laughs> but that's really nice. It's an excellent beer. This is not a beer I want to drink when I'm having mojo pork bolsitas. This is a beer I want to drink on its own because there's a lot of character and flavor in there. There's, there's the sweet, there's the sour, there's the salty. Did I mention the salt? There's the bitter, there's the lime, um, the smooth finish on it. There's this is a beef. really good beer. There's beef. No, pork. Pork. Mojo Sorry. pork pork bolsitas. Yes, you can almost taste them. I cannot. Ooh, really nice. Yeah, and it's a, it's got a good sour level. It's not super sour. It's not really. It's just not. It's not weak. It's just a nice. This is excellent. This is like the more approachable version of a beer I had from another brewery that's here in town. Um, it's called the Sirens Call, and you would take a first sip of that and you go. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Like it was, there was a lot of flavor to that one. Yeah. This one is so much more balanced and, and pleasant. I like it. This is, yeah, I really like this one. And the bubbles. There are bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Did we mention the bubbles in the other one? Because seriously, when you look and at this, there's not salt. a lot of bu bubbles in this one. Lots of salt. There's also salt. Um, not a lot of bubbles in this one compared to the other one. The other one was like a pop. Ah, you might call that soda. I don't think it was that. I, no. It was very bubbly. It looked like ginger ale that had gone red, like that that cranberry ginger ale. Then maybe you poured it. mine bad because mine was kind of flat. Don't, don't blame the guy who poured it, man. I don't, I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. I that's not good enough. Apparently. The rural Jura Brewery. That's what your fails. wife said. It's not good enough. <laughs> wow, that, that went quickly for you. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time. I'm trying to enjoy the flavors and the subtlety. Did I mention the salt? And you, you're like, ooh. Well, you know, one of the things that they have always called me is subtle. So you're subtle like the bee in subtle. That's right, subtle. <laughs> so this this next beer is uh, Curly Brewing in London. It's uh, up in the northwest end of town, up by Hyde Park. It, uh, it's putting out some excellent beer. Can we beer. establish that you're talking about London, Ontario? London, Ontario. We're not talking Canada. about Hyde Park in like. London, England. Yes. We're talking about London, Ontario, Canada, which has been voted the second best London in Canada many years running by people who live here. Go on. So, right, since I don't fucking talk like this, it's probably the fucking London in Ontario. Thanks, mate. Okay, so, Curly Brewing. So we've just lost all of our <laughs> British watchers. I, I don't think we have. We anyway, have Curly any Brewing in London, Ontario, northwest end of town, doing some really nice beers. This is their Blue Steel, uh, which, if you don't know what that is, it's from <laughs> the movie Zoolander. So go check it out. It's really funny. And in that movie, he makes that face. Do it again. Perfect. It's exactly. Blue steel. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, it's his signature look. So this is um, their blueberry sour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, this is one of the prettiest beers that I have ever had. The is colors... it still pretty if you pour it all over Ooh. the table? Well, this one is also very carbonated. Uh, and the bubbles. And the bubbles. And, oh, uh, what's going on there? Yeah. Well, see, I got better. I got a big boy glass. And... Well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so anyways, as you can see, the color is excellent. It's very effervescent, which means bubbly. Um, and it is, I think this is one of the best blueberry sours I've ever had. Yeah, and I'll, I'll agree with you on that. The first time I tried it, um, the brewmaster there, Nigel, was, he came over and he said, hey guys, I got this great new beer. I want you to try it out. It's not ready yet. It won't be available till the weekend, but I figured I'll let you have a taste. 
and we tried it and frankly it is the best blueberry beer i've had it is not too sweet so it's not syrupy like some of them can get it's not sour or bitter or tart in a negative way it's just really well balanced um full of flavor and what a pretty color right like just look at that color it's so nice. nice yeah it's got a nice finish everything about it just says this is a summer drink but it's not super blueberry where you kind of say oh god i don't like blueberries this does not hit me he doesn't like blueberries There's you some... got blueberry pie you got blueberry scones you got blueberry muffins you got blueberry jam like blueberries are fantastic who doesn't like blueberries if I hated blueberries, I would hate all of those things you just mentioned. But I would like this beer because that it does holds. not, no, because it does not taste like I'm eating a whole pile of blueberries. Do you know that blueberries are an interesting fruit? The outside are purple, the inside is white, and yet when you crush it, it's it, the <laughs> color. It, it's a weird one. Yeah, blueberries are pretty tasty, which is why everyone likes blueberries. Thanks. Not everybody. But yeah, Blue Steel, 5% alcohol. Um, a really nice blueberry summer beer, bright, flavorful, easy to drink. I could, I could drink a lot of these, but I won't. Now, I have a question. I just yeah. really have one question. So, it's Nigel, right? The... Nigel is the name of the brewmaster there, yes. Is he British? No, he's not. <laughs> okay. He's not very, British. It's a very British name. Curly Brewing Company is actually a vegan restaurant as well. And Nigel and his girlfriend uh, opened it a few years ago, and it took quite a while for them to get the liquor license. So for a while, they were just selling vegan food. It's really tasty stuff. I'm not vegan. Those people are crazy, but the the vegetarian options they have are so good. So it's nice to be able to go to a place, be able to eat anything on the menu, and have beer that tastes really good. I, I do that too. I go to a restaurant, I can eat anything on the menu. <laughs> yeah, but you're a fucking heathen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I had to choose a favorite beer from Curly, his mocha stout is amazing. Uh, coffee, a thick, rich, foamy head, um, really good stout, perhaps the best stout I've had. This is excellent as well. And he has this, this, this West Coast IPA that he calls Westworld IPA. If you can get it, get a lot of it and then bring it to me because I can't get it. And again, I was there one day and he's like, you gotta try this new beer. So good. Like like bright and hoppy and, and piney and so tasty, like an excellent beer. Who, who are you talking to right now? You're just talking to a wall. Yes. And like. it, it's friendly, the orange brick and, and fuck you. <laughs> Thank you for watching the first installment of the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. Well said. Next time, uh, we'll have more beers to try out, and we look forward to seeing you then. Like and subscribe down below, and see ya. Bye-bye. Right there. So it's got lime juice, yeast. Yeah. You know, Jay, it doesn't mention salt in ingredients at all. And I don't think you re you said that mojito pork. It looks like Bolshevik. Mojito pork Bolshevik. It does not. Porcitas. <laughs> porcitas. Mojo pork porcitas. <laughs> That is I'm, not... a, I'm a vegetarian. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> I was just gonna...